Last week I got a chance to visit the giraffe center here in Nairobi city to shoot some b-roll scene. Of course there are many giraffe centers in Nairobi and you may actually ask which one did I head to? The giraffe mana, that was the name. I was not avoiding pronouncing mana, mana. Okay, let me just do a Google check. Giraffe mana, giraffe manor. Giraffe mana, 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 mana. Okay, you choose what's the simplest one for you. Giraffe Manor is almost 40 kilometers from where I live. That's actually a one hour drive. In my last video, we were at Nairobi Safari Walk, but we'll add an extra mile to get to Giraffe Center because it's within the same location. This time round, I didn't go with Vic because he had an examination to do. Sorry about that little kid. I arrived at the Giraffe Center and I was welcomed warmly. I appreciate for your hospitality. Likewise, I went to the entry pass and got my ticket. Since I had not shot my video intro while I was still at home due to some small fights with my sister, I decided to record the video intro within the entry pass because there was no background noise compared when you are already in. When I was ready to press the record button, one of the staff member called me and I already knew what I was going to be told because this is a common thing to us videographers or filmmakers. She told me that I was not allowed to shoot the video there, but I defended myself by saying I was not shooting this video for commercial use. I was just doing it for my YouTube channel. But she later on told me that I could email them first so that we can negotiate the price, which start from $500. That's a lot of money. Then they could permit me to shoot the video. I looked at her dead in her eyes and she knew I could not afford that $500 which is probably I think 52 to 53 thousand Kenya shillings that's a lot of money yeah so she ended up requesting to see this camera and later on she allowed me to enter in thank you so much that's nice of you and by the way the same thing happened while we were at Nairobi safari walk and I hope it won't happen again because I'm much prepared for that. After I got in I shot a couple of b-roll scenes which actually turned out amazing and later on one of the two staff members asked me if I could take a photo of him and I was down. He ended up assisting me to shoot some b-roll scenes which actually I could not shoot by my own and this is the b-roll scene. What's up guys? Yeah, I'm in Giraffe Center Nairobi and I fed a giraffe. I've never done it before and I think this is my first time maybe getting in contact with a giraffe because I've just seen it on, I think, in the wild. Yeah, but today I've come in contact 
worked with it and it's pretty cool. I thought that was the end of my visit. When I was about to board a bike, there was a guard who told me that I had not finished exploring the center, so I did it. Yo, I had total finished seeing whatever Nairobi Giraffe Center will offer me, but I think I can move this place. I don't know what I will find. Maybe type of trees. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we have a different type of tree right here. Yeah, so let me explore this place and I think it's pretty cool. So for, I think for entry fee, if you're outside the country, you'll be able to pay, I think, 5,000 Kenya shillings. And if you are a Kenyan resident, that will be 400 Kenya shillings. And if you are a child, I think it's uh, 200 Kenya shillings. Yeah, so come and visit this place. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just following the road. Yeah, so let's do this. I'm alone. I don't know which way should I go. Maybe that way or this way. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the center of the, I think the alleyway. Yeah, so. Let me just pick one. Maybe I'll go through this one. And if I get lost here, I'll just shout until they hear me. Yeah, so let me go with this way. Point of correction. I had said earlier that this place will be able to find different type of trees. And that's actually true. But I didn't say you can also find different types of birds. If I'll be able to record them, I'll show you. But if I don't see them, as seen with my own eyes yeah so let me go and do it yo guys i think i'm lost in this place i don't know how to navigate in order to get out of this part yeah by the way jokes aside as you can see i'm alone right here and also vic was doing an examination today yeah i wish him for the best yeah so next week we'll be going to nairobi orphanage and i think you will be there so it will be amazing yeah so i have to go and explore this part and see different types of trees and bird species which will be great yeah so let me go and do my job yeah so this trail takes me to i think the gogo river and i'm just following it it's pretty far i've been walking and I'm not arriving at that river. I don't know how big it is. Yeah, I've just seen a bunny or something there. Yeah, let me try to record him. I don't want to scare him. He will end up running away. I have ended up scaring him and now he's gone. That's pretty sad. Yeah, let me just head to Gogo River. As you can see, that's the sign. I cannot go beyond that point and i think i'm standing at gogo river there's no water flowing as you can see i think this is the trail as you can see it goes that way yeah i think this river dried up or maybe something happened to it yeah and as you can see there's no water flowing to that side yeah so i have to go back and I'll be able to see you next week.
and that was my experience at giraffe mana mana okay let me just wrap up this video if you want to see more videos in future like this please comment down below and just leave a like thank you so much for watching the entire video if you're new to the channel you're much welcome to the community please check your subscribe button below click on it it may just turn gray stay safe always peace out and bye bye see you on the next one